There are many considerations in crafting a shareholder agreement. The shareholders agreement is an agreement between the owners of a corporation, the shareholders, among themselves, which sets forth how the corporation is going to be managed. Uh, you decide who manages the corporation, what authority that manager will have, what matters the rest of the shareholders will need to vote on in the event of a major decision being made. It also uh, sets forth questions about the sale of shares, who can sell shares, at what price they can set shares. Also, a shareholders agreement will deal with issues such as what happens if one of the shareholders dies or becomes disabled. Um, and also, how do you value shares when you want to sell those shares? If, even if all the business partners get along well together, you need detailed agreements being either a shareholders agreement or an operating agreement. It is always best to negotiate those agreements when everybody is getting along well. It is inevitable in the course of running an, a, a business that the owners are going to disagree on certain issues or some emergency or something will arise that has to be decided upon. If the parties decide beforehand how that situation will be addressed, it is much easier to deal with. Trying to make decisions if a shareholder dies or you, there's a disagreement about the management of the company while that disagreement is going on is very difficult to resolve, particularly when there are tight time constraints because you are trying to run the business. So when you're getting along, is the time to decide to, what to do when you're not getting along. The considerations in crafting an operating agreement are manyfold. An operating agreement, which are used when you set up a limited liability company, acts as a combination of the bylaws and a shareholders agreement for a corporation. It sets the terms of the management of the company, who gets to manage the company, the financial relationship of the parties, how distributions are made, who can become new members, on what terms they become new members, who have the right to sell, who you have the right to sell units to, uh, and again, what happens in the event of a death or disability. Um, it also has, uh, will have impact in how the entity is taxed, so people understand who's responsible for distributions, because LLCs are often taxed as partnerships. So uh, operating agreement uh, in a, for an LLC is extremely important. important. If you uh, do not have an operating agreement, you are stuck with whatever the Pennsylvania Limited Liability Company Act states, and it does not necessarily cover all the possibilities of what might occur in the course of your running your business.